based on a game by Nintendo. But it's not made by Nintendo. Yes, it's Metroid 2, or rather it's another Metroid 2 remake, or AM2R. Uh, so today is the Metroid's 30th anniversary, uh, and Nintendo isn't doing anything proper to celebrate it, so fuck them. We'll play the fan remade, fan remake of Metroid 2, which was released today. Uh, I haven't played it before, as you can see here, but um, I've heard good things. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. I like the original Metroid 2 a lot, so, um... And I always felt it deserved a remake, like Sir, like Sir Mish did for one. Metroids. Numerous incidents in the past have brought to light the highly destructive power of these life forms, spreading fear across all known planetary systems. Hoping to secure peace in the galaxy, the Galactic Federation orders the extermination of the Metroid species. I was the best candidate for the job. Once again, I find myself standing alone against the Metroid menace. What horrors await me within the depths of their homeworld? What's their, what's their homeworld called again? Like. SR something, I think. And yeah, we have a very, very Super Metroid esque intro here. I mean, the, everything seems quite Super Metroid esque, even the. Oh god, that looked bad. Uh, the um, aspect ratio. I was actually thinking they would go for, go for more uh, widescreen Game Boy thing, but since they have the GBA you know, style graphics, let's get a feel for the controls. Okay, I, I did see something in the settings earlier. Oh, place marker, cool. How do I know where I place my marker? Oh well, here's the menu. Cool. Settings, I guess. There was something here. Yeah, aiming style, two buttons. Huh? One button. Oh, okay, yeah, I got it. And that's the map. Mission briefing. Oh, yeah, SR388. Well, that's pretty cool. How do I get out of here? Oh, start. Okay. I tried, to, I tried pressing B and it didn't work. Uh, or oh, circle, I should say. I'm playing with a DualShock 4. I'm gonna explore all the way to the left side as well. Is there a run button or. No, oh, that's missiles. Oh, you start with missiles? I don't remember that. I, I haven't played Metroid 2 in a long time, so... Forgive me for not remembering stuff. Okay, and there's a Morph Ball. I guess you can do that as well, yeah. So there's, there's a quick key for Morph Ball. That's, pretty, that's quite nice. That's... Moving backwards. Okay. And that's aiming. That works. Okay. Got it. I mean, it's very pretty. Obviously, um, some of the visuals have just been lifted from uh, Serum Mission. Uh, this sprite is obviously an, an edited Serum Mission sprite. That's fine. Let's see. See, I've, I, 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 I've been fairly annoyed with Nintendo's treatment of Metroid. Uh, both in recent years, but like, uh, uh, and this year, but especially this year. Like, um, after the horrible, horrible piece of garbage that was out of the rem, you think they would at least try to make up for it for the anniversary. Like, 30 years is quite a number. But, um, nope. I mean, we're getting games without Sam Zaren. You know, the heroine who turns 30 today. <laughs> today, as a recording, I don't know if, if this will go up before midnight or not. So, I'm recording this quite late because this game released quite late. Oh, isn't this the... Uh... No, it's not. Never mind. I was gonna say, this looks like, looks like the cave where Sam's gonna attack by the X-Parasite, but... Oh wait, that, that was an SR388, wasn't it? I haven't played Fusion in a while, I don't remember the intro. 
Oh. First hit. Hmm. Not seen any dots on the map yet. That's the thing I always liked about Metroid is that you can see where where items were by there being a circle, and then you can turn it into a dot. Uh, oh, how how did I do the missiles there? Oh, what's this? What's, oh, it's just the same room. All right. So, yeah, in the original Metroid um, Two, there wasn't actually save rooms. Instead of just saving um, platforms, you're standing was just like in the middle of regular rooms, and it was kind of odd. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. They haven't gotten used to the controls entirely. It, it controls pretty much like Super Metroid, which is good. Oh, it's a Metroid. Um, yeah, okay, they didn't say that, but it's like, it's like one kind of Metroid. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. I don't, don't remember them being that annoying. Oh well. So I guess we hit the back button? No. Wait. Oh wait, ah uh, fuck, this is confusing. Alpha Metroid, that was it, yeah. And they go up to Omega Metroid. Well, they don't actually. They they skip to Omega Metroid because they don't. Otherwise, they would have twenty three kinds of Metroids, but they don't. It's that's pretty neat. Actually, there's a controller vibration as well. Earthquake. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so a cool thing about uh, Metroid um, Two is that the entire plot is uh, killing all the Metroids, and basically, when you kill enough Metroids. More, more of the world will open up by these me by these earthquake thingies. So if we look on my map, I um, killed the Metroid here. There's two f 54 Metroids left. There was one Metroid for me to continue. So now I can uh, backtrack and continue. I don't like that I can't use the B button to exit menus. Let's save, I guess. Yeah, like I said, in the Game Boy game, you they just had saving stuff like on like it would be like on top of this thing. It'd be like saving, and then you would continue. It was kind of awkward, um, but yeah, it was the, it was the first game uh, in the series to have saving points, so they didn't really know how to do them yet. Super Metroid introduced the Super Metroid introduced the saving rooms, so it's been kept like that since. So anyway. Let's go back to the anniversary thing, so I want to talk a bit, a bit about that. Because Nintendo, of course, has released um, nothing for Metroid in. Well, since Other M, right? And Other M was, what, 2010, I think? So that's six years. Uh, this year we have um, Bound, uh, Blast Ball, which released for free a few days ago, and uh, Federation Force, Metroid Prime Federation Force, which is basically. A four-player co-op shooter thing, which honestly doesn't look that great. But I just don't get it, you know? I don't get why they haven't even announced something. Like, because you... They, they gotta be working on something, right? People like Metroid, and they should know that. They can't expect people to... Or do they expect people to just eat uh, Federation Force up? Because I don't think anyone really cares for it. They didn't even have it at E3. For a while, I thought it was cancelled because it was just missing in action. I want to see what's up here. Nothing. Okay, don't have any mines yet. Or um, what do you call them? Morph ball bombs, I guess. Morph bombs. My favorite, my favorite Metroid is probably Super Metroid or Metroid Prime. I have a hard time picking between the two because they're very different kind of games. Um, but I like both a lot. Oh. Fuck. Um, I would probably go with Metroid Prime if I had to pick one, just because I kind of prefer 3D movement in general. But uh, Super Metroid is a brilliant game, and I really like the Game Boy Advance games as well. 
don't like the first Metroid. I was considering playing the first Metroid for the anniversary, just for fun, and just make it like a one-off, because I don't like it. But um, then they then then they then I saw they released AM2R, which I'm still amazed they called it that. And it's a pretty fun reason why. Um, yeah, like they 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 released AM2R finally. So I was like, well, fuck it, I guess I'll play AM2R then. So the reason it's called AM2R is it stands for another Metro 2 remake, which I think I said at the start. Um, and the reason it's called that is because this is not the first attempt that a fan made a Metro 2 remake. There's been like a lot of them, and a lot of them be have been really high profile and like looked absolutely great. Um, Hell, I, I myself worked on one for a while, um, which was just called Metroid Return, to, Return of Thomas. Uh, not one of the high-profile ones, unfortunately. Uh, but, like, they would never finish because there was so much work to put into them. And, you know, they had limited people and people lost interest or whatever. And, of course, there's always the scary thought of Nintendo just shutting you down with a cease and desist. But this is the first one to actually... Um, Finish and it finished, and the reason it was, it was called AM2R is because it was like, well, yeah, this is another Metro 2 remake, but we're gonna finish it this time. And they did, it took them eight years. So they started development in um, uh, 2000, 2008, which you know is pretty amazing because, like, back then, like, Metro was still an active series, uh, like, Prime 3 had just released. Prime 3 and Hunters, like, the year before it, so... Yeah. It's been a strange ride, and it kind of sucks too, because you just know that... This, that Nintendo will probably, like, pull out the Cease and Desist order anyway soon, and... Then this game will have to be... have to officially go down, but... I mean, it'll, it'll always remain in some way, but... It just kind of sucks when... This is like the first proper Metroid game we've gotten in such a long time. Can I do the... I can't. Oh god, I'm so bad at double jumping. Oh, I need okay. I need I need bombs there. Okay, can I? Oh, this is so hard. I'm going. I'm going to blame the PS4 D-pad. Although that's not actually the reason. I'm just bad at it. But I'm going to blame the PS4 D-pad anyway. Can I not double jump from this wall? Never mind. Wall jumping wasn't a thing in Metroid 2, I think. So that's been added in the remake. Animation is pretty smooth. Um, not sure how I feel about some of it. Like when the um, when the uh, Samus spaceship landed at the start, it looked ridiculous because it like had the turning frames and the animation when it turned, when, like when it rotated, it just didn't at all match anything. You know, I need bombs. I think I'm going to be getting bombs soon, though. Probably in here. Oh, shit. Whee! Oh, look. Yay! Metroid Jingle! Oh, okay, where is it? Oh, I can skip it. Nice. I wonder how many bombs I can put out. Oh, fuck. Three, okay. Like usual, then. I forgot about that gun. Whee! 
Whee! I can blow these up. I think it was in here, yeah. Okay, they're dying one bomb, that's pretty good to know. They were actually going to do a... well, not a remake, because that's a bit of a big word for it, but they were going to do an, an enhanced version of the original Metroid 2, officially. Um, not for, like, the Game Boy Advance or a DS or anything like that, no, it was way, way before that, uh, when they were making the DX versions of uh, Game Boy games. There's something here. Where is it? You can see on the map that there is something here. I don't know where. Hmm. I guess we won't find it there. But yeah, when they were making the DX version of Game Boy games, you know, they added a color and stuff, like they did it with um, Link's Awakening DX. They were, they were making one for Metroid 2 as well, and if you look on the uh, Super Game Boy, I think the North American packaging or manual for it, uh, you can actually see a screenshot of the um, prototype for it. And uh, that was never finished and it just never came to be. The closest we have to that is using emulators to sort of put color into the game, which you can do. Like, it can actually look quite alright in that way, but um, it's never an official one. Get how far in you get the the barrier suit or the varia suit, as it's now called. Uh, that's just fun, another fun fact. The varia suit in Metroid is it's meant to be barrier suit, but um, they mistranslated it in Metroid. Um, in Metroid Two, Metroid Three, I think it was Super Metroid. Like it was originally called Barrier, not Varia, like it was intended to, and then. Barrier is stuck because it sounded cool, I guess. What is that? Oh. <laughs> Spider Ball. It's kind of funny seeing Xbox controller prompts in a game that's, you know, Metroid. Look. You have the Spider Ball now. See, the Spider Ball was first introduced in Metroid 2. Uh, and it's really useful in Metroid 2 because you can, you can go on all walls and stuff. Uh, unlike um, Metroid uh, Prime, where you have to do on specific rails, which makes sense. It would be too OP to be able to go on anything. But, uh, yeah, I think we're supposed to go, like, can I just... There we go. No! Oh! Good. I want to go up here. What's this? Nothing. Okay. So I think there will be something here. Because there was a Metroid shell earlier. Oh, you need to kill four Metroids to proceed. Which we won't be doing this video, but I'm going to play for a little bit longer before I stop at least. Because I'm enjoying this. It's pretty good. I feel Samus could be a bit a little uh, faster, maybe? She feels very slow. She probably matches her original speed, and there's probably going to be speed boots, uh, running boots later. Speed boots? Speed boots? I don't know what they call it in Metroid lore. But, um... I don't know. She just feels kind of slow. It's kind of annoying, because she her animation is so fast that you expect it to move faster. I don't know. Whee! Oh, huh. You can't get me. Oh, never mind, you'll be able to get me now. Oh, interesting. Oh, I think I know what to do. No, oh, oh, um... Hold on, what?
This is confusing now. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, so let's see. Um. No, uh, that's the wrong one. I want to. There we go. Can we blow this up? No. We can blow the other thing up, right? I think. Maybe we can sh even shoot it up. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. Oh, well, we're here anyway, so. Can we just, like. No. Interesting. Oh, that was it. I <laughs> was fast enough last time. Okay, then. Oh. <laughs> the morph ball is much faster than Samus' normal form. Hey, energy tank. Make pretty decent progress here, I feel. I mean, we haven't seen any Metroids in a while now, but apart from that, don't like those guys. They're really annoying. Okay, um, let's go save. Then we're gonna check the map because I feel like we've walked. We now now we're running a circle, and I'm not really sure where to go. Could go further down. I also backtrack all the way back and see what we missed over here. Actually, I think that was lava or something. We need, probably need barrier suit for that. Gotta keep calling it barrier suit until I see what they call it in this release. It'd be really cute if they actually call it barrier suit. They won't. They're gonna call it barrier suit, but you know. A girl, a girl can dream, right? So, about this. That's a Shoso symbol right there. You see that um, thing in the middle? That's the symbol of the Shoso. Uh, you fight a bunch of those symbols in Zero Mission. And in Zero Mission, what you do is. Um, in Zero Mission, what you do is you end up. Um, like I said, you end up fighting them and then you get superpowers. So. Not sure what I'm supposed to think of them here. Uh, we're going down. Oh, fuck. Tried using B to back out again. Can't do that. Oh. Hello. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> Navigation is hard. Yay, something else. What? Um. Oh, I had to shoot it first. I, f I forget how Metroid games work. Cool. I wonder if... I don't know. I think maybe that's how you activate those shows the symbols. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is there any game where you don't have to have, have to get charge beam? Apart from like this, the prime sequels, because another prime sequels kind of just didn't bother with the whole um, get the base items again kind of thing, which is fine. Hmm, I don't think so. Like I think I think all the main Metro games have you unlock charge beam. I think even other M did, and I'm not I'm not gonna count other M as a main Metro game because fuck that game. Okay. Dodge. 
It needs to be a full charge for one hit kill. Okay. Good to know. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why don't you just kill this guy first? <laughs> Why do I make it harder for myself? Ah, fuck's sake. Speaking of making it harder for myself, I could've just done this. Oh, fuck, no. No, 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 no. How do I get out of the ball? Okay. Huh, so I guess we'll have to... Just gonna take some extra time. I think got the rhythm down, there we go. Yeah, good. I always have trouble with that bounce rhythm. It's why I, it's why I can never do uh, Metroid speedrunning. Because <laughs> I would just get stuck on like some trick jump where you can use that to get over and then I would never get past. I love watching Metroid speedrunning though, like, it's a delight to watch. As tired as I am of like, um, games done quick, always doing uh, the same. Um, um, save or kill the animals thing. Each year, ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Um, I do enjoy watching them when they eventually get around to them. I just kind of wish they didn't. Okay, this is really fucking annoying. I'm gonna see if I can, if there's like some control options, I can change this. Cause like the directional input on the spider ball. You know what? Wait, can I just hold? Yeah, hold. Thank you. That sounds much better. Uh, what? Okay, never mind. Is there really no? Okay. Cause like, the directions keep confusing me, like a lot. Maybe it's okay. Maybe I can just... Yeah. Yeah, cause like, uh, I had to hold left to go right here. Cause like, it base it's based on like, what my first, um... Like, which wall I first stick to. And... Okay... This is where I got the spider ball. Never mind then. Cool. Anyway, uh, I need to... Yeah, I know there's been a oh, I know there's been a Facebook noise over and over throughout this video. I'm sorry, um, that's completely on me. Uh, wait, wait, where the fuck am I meant to go now? Guess I have to go back there. There's nowhere else to go. Still bugs me. What is inside this room? I want to know. Oh my god, this is actually infuriating me now. The same noise keep popping in from Facebook. I might have to end the video based on that. Um, still pressing B to leave the um, start menu. Why the fuck I can't do that? I do not know. Save in. I guess we'll make our way back there. Wait, 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 wait. Why does the. Where's there a thing in my save point room? The map is blinking here. Why? Oh, I put the marker. Oops. 
Still, that's useful. It's a useful tool. Maybe I should go up here, just in case I have missed something here. It seems like it would be annoying to get up there, but whatever. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah. There we go. Come on. This better be worth it. So far, it's not worth it. Oh. Oh. At least now that I have the hold option, I don't have to worry about losing my spider ball when I use a bomb because it autom automatically like activates it again because I'm holding. So that's much better. Okie dokie. This is riveting. Feeling. Oh, oh, we got something. Got a missile tank. Is that it? <sighs> oh, God, fucking damn it. You know what? I'm gonna decide that was it. Slowly run back. Oh, this is faster than climbing. So. Oh well. You know what? I'm gonna use the uh, marker system. Guess I don't lose my way. Um. There's a farming here. Come on. Oh wait, oh wait, I'm full. Okay, never mind. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. I'm not good at Metroid games. Actually, I'm not good at 2D games in general. Can never see what's ahead of me and it bugs me. Oh, shit. Yeah, this was the part I thought of. Like, this. Ah, f fuck. No, come on. No. Oh, my God. Oh. Perfect. Perfect height to annoy. No, like, I, I can't do shit here. Like, a bunch of lava or magma, I guess. Like, I've been. There's no paths I haven't been down that I can see. Unless I just. Unless I missed a secret room up to the right. Oh god, I did, didn't I? I can't look down. That's a bit annoying. Should I fall down? What do I lose if I die? Nothing. Okay, good. Well, this isn't helping. Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm supposed to can use, like, load from the last... Actually, we must be able to, right? Yeah, we start from the last save. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's great. Oh, fuck. I forgot that. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's actually fine. Uh, we can save some time by going around. <sighs> I am so patient. I am not at all infuriated with my poor platforming skills. No, sirree. 
Not at all. Slowly climb way up the top. Oh wait, near the top, we need to go out here. Okay. Good. All right. All right, all right. Yeah, so I think I know what we're, going to, what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go up here. We never did that before, and there's going to be a door up here. We're going to go a bit of an extra mile. Yeah, there it is. There it is. But we're going to go a bit of an extra mile, and we're going to go get the missile tank we lost. Hopefully. It's going to be tricky because he's flying annoying fuckers, but... Oh well. Well, I just have to try. This is the guy I'm worried about. This is the guy who knocked me down last time. For sake, okay. There's a safe spot, okay. Good. Where's this guy? There. That's a pretty annoying safe spot, but should be fine. See, every time you stop moving with the spider ball, you need to uh, change the direction of the key you're holding. So, like, I was holding... Oh, fuck. I was holding uh, left at one point, then it changed to up, because I was on a wall when I stopped moving, and... I don't know, it's... I feel like it could be easier to move with the spider ball. I'm not really sure how, but I feel like it should be. It's one of those things where I wish I could give more direct suggestions on how to fix it, but I just know, I just know it can be better. I'm not sure how. Let's go save this time so we don't lose it again. Okay, so there's going to be a Metroid up here, I'm pretty sure, because uh, there's a Metroid shell here. Um, so we're going to take that out, and I think we'll call it an episode after that, and I might continue playing this, I might not. I probably won't, to be honest. Uh, I like it, it's fun, but it's a 2D Metroid game, and I'm not very good at them, so I can't imagine it being too interesting. I just want to do something for Metroid's birthday, since, you know, I like the series, I like... Uh, I like uh, Samus, and, you know, she deserves something, and Nintendo won't give it to, give it to her. Yeah, fuck you, Nintendo. I don't want to go into spikes. Yeah, I thought so. I wasn't sh at first. I wasn't sure if they were going to hurt me or not, but no, they would definitely would. Of course, they would. There's spikes in a video game. Oh, is that marker still left? Oh, that's the old marker. Right. Um. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, now I'm back to being lost again. So yeah, I think it's a good time to just save. Fuck you. Do we get full health when we save or not? We do. Good. That's that's something Metroid Prime introduced, and I like that a lot. Anyway, that's um, AM2R. It's a really nice little game so far. Uh, I suggest checking it out. You can get it for free. There'll be a link in the description on how to get it. And happy 30th anniversary. I'm sorry Nintendo doesn't treat you well, Metroid. Hopefully at some point they see the light and they make a proper Metroid game again. Be it Metroid Prime or 2D Metroid. Or something new that actually works and isn't other M. So, um, yeah. See ya.